Hey everyone, I'm just popping in to do a quick intro. This video is not my normal video. I'm actually working with the Dental Digest channel, Anthony, to give you guys a waxing tutorial that he did for you of tooth number 20. So I hope it's helpful. Anthony here from Dental Digest. I'm teaming up with Haley to teach you guys everything I know on how to make a beautiful wax up. So let's get started waxing. Before we get going, it's extremely important to uh, visualize and know what tooth we're gonna be waxing and know all the anatomy that's gonna be can expect to add to the tooth so what I like to do is analyze the opposite arch and then after that I kind of start to build up a solid base and when I add when I add the wax I make sure to add it strategically adding to where the cusp tips would be so you can see that right now It's always important to look down the arch form to make sure your the wax the tooth that you're waxing is properly fitting in the, the arch form and that the cusp tips are in line with the opposing with the adjacent teeth. The instrument I'm using here is a PKT1, and then that's to mainly add large amounts of wax. And then when I add more wax strategically, I like to use the PKT number two. That's a more smaller um, instrument. After you add all the wax strategically, it's time to get carving. I almost exclusively use the PKT number four. I like the curved end. This allows me to adapt it nicely to the tooth and um, get, get the correct angles that I would like. So sometimes you might have to go back and add a little bit more wax, and that's where it's really helpful to use the PKT number two, which allows you to add more wax more strategically. Also, it's extremely important to understand the groove pattern. And this tooth, number 22, we know it's a Y-shaped groove pattern, so I make sure to include that in the wax hub. One of the first parts that I start carving is the axial walls, buccal and lingual walls, and I make sure, and it's, it's easy, it's super easy to use that PKT number four, the curved end, and rest it flat on the tooth, and then use the uh, existing tooth structure to help you um, create the the line the correct the correct curvature the next thing i'm going to start to carve is the embrasures and you can see i use the flat tip of the embrasures are important because it's going to give you the overall shape of the tooth so it's also important to know the outline form of the tooth from an occlusal view another huge pro tip that i love to do is to look at the same tooth that you're waxing up but on the opposing arch and then rest your instrument on whatever angle whatever uh part on whatever part you're starting to wax up on to get the correct angulation on the, of the instrument this will help give you a feel for what type of angle the cusp tips are at once again i love the pkt number four and i love that curb bend i make sure to and when you're carving though when you make when when you're carving the occlusal surface and make sure to rest the whole instrument on the internal cusp surface, that triangular ridge, and follow the triangular ridge to give it the correct shape. You can see in this analyzation phase, I truly, I make sure to look at the, <clears throat> I make sure to look at the tooth from all different angles to make sure the cusp tips are in line and in the correct arch form. And after doing so, I realized that the mesial marginal ridge is a little too low. So I go back with my PKT number two, that fine tipped uh, instrument, and I add a small amount of wax to that surface, painting it on in a very gentle manner. And now once I add the wax, I gently carve it away to get it congruent with the rest of the tooth that I have, and then we're good to go. And I just touch up the embrasures one last time because it was just really important because it'll give it the correct look from the occlusal view. And that's it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Smile on.
If you guys love dental content, head over to my YouTube channel, Dental Digest, where I talk about everything you need to know about dental products. All right, that is everything for this video. We'll be back with normal vlogs and everything in upcoming videos, but I know I'm working on trying to learn how to wax 20, so I hope this is helpful for my fellow dental students out there. Be sure to check out Anthony's channel, subscribe, check out his TikTok, show him lots of love for helping us out with this video, and I will see you in my next one. Oh, 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 oh,